Hi, my name is Kana Patterson, and I am a member of the Cumberland County Buckaroos and Poultry Pride 4-H Club. I have been in 4-H for seven years and currently raise about 10 to 20 Nigerian dwarf goats and about 15 different breeds and varieties of large fowl and bantam chickens for exhibition purposes. In this video, I will be explaining how to tell if your chicken is a male or female. This is important for many reasons, namely because one, males don't lay eggs, and two, not all cities and townships in New Jersey allow citizens to keep roosters. The first step in trying to tell if your chicken is a male or female is knowing what breed you have. The most important things to know about the breed you have are what type of comb it has, if it has a beard, and what the typical waddle size is for adult males and females of that breed. With all that in mind, let's move on to looking at some examples of males and females. Although some will tell you that feather sexing is accurate, in my experience, it is absolutely not. Feather sexing is only accurate on birds that have a certain gene for it. The majority of chicks you see, including ones in the feed store, cannot be accurately sexed by feather growth. In my experience, the earliest you can actually sex a chick is at about two to three weeks old, but it's much more accurate when you do it at four to five weeks old. At this age, you should be looking at their comb and waddles. The comb of a male is typically larger, more pronounced, and red or orange in color, while females tend to have little to no comb growth, and their combs are typically yellow or light pink at the most. Again, it is very important to know what type of comb your chicken has, because comb size varies between the different types. For example, this is a water mall bantam, and this is a mill flow du play bantam. At first glance, you may think that the water mall is a female because her comb is smaller. However, both are actually males. Water malls have rose combs, which are smaller in size compared to the single combs of Duclays. The next thing I like to look for are the waddles. Typically by four to five weeks old, you can see waddle growth on the males. And if the waddles are red, it is very likely that the bird is male. Normally by four to five weeks old, females have no waddle growth or if they do, it is yellow in color. Keep in mind that the gene for a beard inhibits wattle growth, meaning wattles are almost always smaller on bearded breeds compared to non-bearded breeds, which is why it is so important to know if your breed has a beard. By 12 weeks, if you still can't tell based on comb and wattle size, you should start noticing thin pointy feathers on the backs of the males. These are called the saddle feathers, and depending on the breed can usually be seen coming in around 10 to 14 weeks, usually around 12 weeks of age. Unless a rooster has the gene for henny feathering, which is typically only found in seabrights, all roosters will have these when full grown. On the hen's back near the base of the tail, you should notice short thick feathers with a rounded edge. These are called their cushion feathers. Keep in mind that males will have these cushion feathers until their saddle feathers come in around 12 weeks. Around 16 weeks old is when you will see these same long pointy feathers appearing on the necks of the males. These are called hackle feathers. In females, the feathers on the neck tend to be thicker and shorter compared to a male's hackle feathers. Again, if you see these hackle feathers, you know that the chicken is absolutely a male unless they have the henny feathering gene. All in all, sexing a chicken is not hard as long as you know what you're looking for and basic information about the breed. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Thank you so much for watching.